Microbiome. So this is a word we've been hearing a lot these days. It's kind of a buzzword and I'm so glad that it is because it's super important that we understand the important role of our gut bacteria. So we have thousands of different kinds of bacteria in our gut and they all play different roles. Some of them are good, some of them are bad and what we really want to aim for is this healthy balance. So why does this matter? These gut bacteria feed on the foods that we eat and they play an important role in the synthesis of vitamins. So for example, zinc, magnesium, iron, and even more importantly, they aid in the absorption of these vitamins. So the vitamins are no good to you if your body's not absorbing them, right? So you need this healthy balance of the good and bad bacteria. Your microbiome is also responsible for the synthesis of certain neurotransmitters. And we know how important the function of certain neurotransmitters are when it comes to your mood, and anxiety and your ability to handle stress. So we can think of the gut bacteria in terms of two big groups. So the first type of bacteria we tend to see in lean folks who eat healthy fruits and vegetables and focus on eating healthy fats. The second group are, is a type of uh, bacteria that really feeds off of processed carbohydrates, uh, simple sugars, and they actually uh, aid in the absorption of fat. So this can lead to weight gain, and it can also lead to a uh, inflammatory process in the body. So what we also see is this is a type of bacteria found kind of in an abundance in those who struggle with obesity and diabetes. So someone who's eating a diet that is filled with processed foods is more likely to have this imbalance of good and bad bacteria. And this imbalance is called dysbiosis. So when you have this, you're more likely to trigger the body's inflammation system. And when you have a lot of inflammation, then your immune system gets triggered. And when the immune system is triggered, the brain receives those signals and triggers its own immune response. And then once again, you have this cascade of low mood, this kind of foggy thinking, anxiety, and inability to handle stress. So what's the best way to ensure that you have a healthy microbiome? Well, the first thing to do is assess your diet. Are you eating a lot of processed foods? Even some of these prepackaged uh, weight loss foods, even though they're low calories, they're processed, right? So assess how much of this are you consuming? Are you getting vegetables with each meal? and see where you can make some changes. One of my favorite things to tell people to do is to eliminate. Eliminate the, the three most inflammatory foods, gluten, dairy, and sugars. And if all doing all of that at once is kind of tough, pick one at a time. And I find that eliminating dairy is the easiest because there's so many dairy substitutes out there. So let us know what you think. Please comment below if you have any questions. And if you have not already, please subscribe or follow us so that you can continue to keep up with our content. We'll be creating more videos for you.